guys, this is Tom, and as I'm sure you're aware, I picked up the newly released Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, a couple of days ago. If you happen to miss my first impressions video, that will be linked down below in the description of this video. One of the new features on the S5 is the implementation of a dedicated heart rate monitor on the back of the phone. I thought it would be an interesting video to kind of see how this actually performs, uh, whether it's accurate, and just how accurate it can actually be. I picked up a dedicated heart rate monitor, uh, this is designed for people who quite run quite competitively uh, and want to monitor their heart rate whilst doing so. It consists of a strap that goes around your chest and then that communicates with the watch to provide a visual output of your heart rate. Uh, this is what we're going to be comparing to the S5 heart rate monitor today. Uh, if you're curious, I'll have this heart rate monitor linked down below as well. The Galaxy S5 uses a sensor on the back of the phone and incorporates it into their health application S Health. The experience is pretty seamless, meaning you can very quickly read your own heart rate with no faffing around with tons of applications and things like that. Let's get cracking then. I'm going to monitor my heart rate from resting. Uh, bear in mind that I'm actually filming with tripods and cameras and stuff uh, at the time of recording this video, so this isn't actually going to be an accurate resting heart rate, so don't worry if it's a, a bit high. Then I'm also going to record one exercising after that, and we'll see how the heart Heart rate monitor on the S5 compares to an actual heart rate monitor. So right off the bat it's initially a lot slower to record your heart rate. That's because the strap monitor is pretty much almost real time. It takes a little bit of time just to get it right, get your finger in the right place on the back of the S5, but once I did the first test of somewhat resting heart rate, it came out to 88 beats per minute, and on the heart rate monitor on the right it reads 91 beats per minute, so that is pretty accurate here. Next I did some physical activity for around 5 minutes to crank my heart rate right up. Bear in mind I obviously stopped to record this footage so my heart rate should have been constantly dropping uh, which will make it slightly more difficult for the monitors to read, or at least I would have thought it would. Uh, again we have a pretty solid reading here, the first one is within 3 beats per minute of accuracy and then when I repeated the same reading a few seconds afterwards, 10 seconds after, uh, afterwards or thereabouts, we actually get identical beats per minute reading on both monitors of 110 beats per minute, so that's very very solid here from Samsung. So this pretty much proves that if you're wanting to rely on the S5 for an accurate heart rate monitor, you can do. Uh, a big shout out here to Dom from Mac Mixing for pointing this out in a recent video, a link to that in the description, but it's also possible to monitor your heart rate on almost any phone that has a flash on it, and that's using an application, just search heart rate monitor and you'll find one that does it. Uh, here's my HTC One M8, as you can see I get a BPM reading of 96 BPM, which is consistent with the strap monitor. This is slightly more flaky than Samsung implementation, but it does certainly work. There we have it guys, hopefully that did something to quantify just how effective the heart rate monitor uh, is on the Samsung Galaxy S5. It's definitely interesting to me just how accurate this hardware is, and even more interesting that Samsung is uh, kind of marketing this as a unique feature to the S5, when in fact almost any mainstream smartphone can actually do this, albeit a little bit less accurate. I have lots more videos on the way about the new Samsung Galaxy S5, comparisons between this and the HTC One M8, things of that nature. Be sure to subscribe and drop this video a like if you are excited for those, and I will talk to you guys soon.